Today, we're going under the sea. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. And today we are celebrating the Little Mermaid coming out with some amazing watercolor tie dye. There is a trend that I didn't mention in my last runway video. I know, I missed it. And as I was watching the actors and celebrators walk the red carpet for the Little Mermaid premiere, it dawned on me that I missed something. I missed this trend of watercolor tie dye. It is so gorgeous. This is the Ferragamo show. Show. Oh, this was so good. The colors, kind of like the ombre going together, transitioning from one to the other, the sheerness of it, the lightness of it, the airy feeling of it. And then also some like the contrast between the ones that look like water and deep sea and the ones that look like a fire or a flame. And you can also see one look here in the Carrez show, really, really like this. And on Zara's website right now, they have a beautiful silk dress with this whole under the sea Little Mermaid theme with the purple and the blue teal color. So you guys know I died for the, I didn't die. I tie dyed or I died, whatever. I dyed garments for the first time last year and I did this top. This top used to be white and I dyed it purple. I used the RIT dye more synthetic dye. I really, really like that dye and how vibrant you can get the colors with it. So I decided to use it again and try my hand at a watercolor tie dye. All right, so we went thrifting. This is the thrift outlet. Everything that day was $2.25. That's the highest that it is on Thursdays. It's the highest on Wednesdays. Everything is a quarter, but I like to go on Thursdays because the whole store is open. But I was able to find this amazing, well, it's not amazing right now. I like the fabric and it, and it's white. So I was looking for anything that was white. So I found this dress. It doesn't look like much, but I am going to go ahead and cut it off underneath the arms and make ties for it. If you are interested in um, sew with me videos, I did use this as one of my sew with me on my other channel, my new channel um, for like ASMR and sew with me, just nice chill vibes, something to chill out to, something to maybe study with or even use it to sew with. But I found that one, 225. And I also found this bodysuit, white bodysuit. This is more of a stretchy material. I do not know whether these things are going to die at this point. Um, I'm just trying it. I'm trying it so you guys don't have to try it and fail. And then last up is this blazer. I wanted to try a blazer. I don't know if I've seen too many watercolor blazers. I know I've seen one at least in my life and it's in my head and I don't know where I saw it but I really want to try this. And this particular blazer, I think is going to work very, very well. It's the same color as my wall. So I'm really interested to see how the colors are going to vary from the other garments that are white. So let's get prepped to do some dyeing. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the biggest pot that I have, and I'm going to fill it with water and put it on the stove and turn it on high. You want to get the water till it's right before it's boiling, and then you wanna turn it down, turn it down to about seven, just something so that it keeps the heat up, but it won't start boiling. All right, so it's right before boiling. You can see the smoke, and I have the Rit Dye More synthetic version, and I really like this one for more saturated colors. Um, I've had a good experience with this and it's for anything that's not like a natural fiber like cotton or wool and so we're going to use this and we're also going to use this color is tropical teal and i'm also going to use royal purple you'll also need some dish detergent for this as well as something to start with it also says on the instructions to wear gloves i'm never going to put my hand in there so i am not going to wear gloves and then it says that you want to go ahead and add a teaspoon of dish detergent whoa got some bubbles. and then you want to shake the uh, dye really really well and we're gonna go ahead and pour it in <laughs> I'm gonna have a blue wooden spoon after this and since this is watercolor I am going to dip dye this which basically means that the whole garment is not gonna go in it's gonna go in so that 
part of it is just out and part of it is in and I'm not even gonna try to do it straight. I want it to be like, you know, at an angle. And if you guys remember when we did our purple, it only took just a few minutes to get it the color we wanted. So thing I did not think about though, is a way to get it from here to my sink. <laughs> I'm gonna dye my floor again. Uh, I realized that the glove is for when you rinse it out. I'm gonna do the front of this bodysuit. This is 91% polyester and 9% spandex. The part that I want to go in the water is like right up the middle. So I'm doing it like this and like that. And I'm gonna dip that part. And hopefully that works. This is a dress after dipping it. I think I want a little bit more on this side, but I'm not sure. I gotta figure it out before I pour this blue out. And it's very green. This blue is very green, so it is very much a teal. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Right now, we are doing this series where we are upcycling our just dream things that we have posted on our Pinterest page. And I, I can't remember what number this is. This might be number nine, I think, that we've done. And my wardrobe, like this is gonna be a whole collection. So I'm super excited about that. You don't wanna miss it, so definitely subscribe. And if you're interested in planning out or journaling your upcycles, I do have an upcycle planner for purchase. The link is in the description box below, as well as up above right now. And if you're already a subscriber and you want to become a member, you want behind the scenes footage, you want classes with me, definitely hit that join button to learn more about becoming a member. All right, back to the video. All right, so next up is the blazer. Um, let's see what is the material of this blazer. This blazer is definitely dry clean only. It's 95% polyester, 5% elastoester. It also has a stain on it, so we're not losing a whole lot. I'm gonna do the blue at the bottom this time. All right, it's been maybe five minutes. That color is gorgeous, but it's not gonna turn out like that. So let's see what it looks like after we rinse it. All right, I have decided that I love this, but I want more. And I don't want the purple on this one. I just want blue and I want it to go higher up. So we're going for it. Everything is kinda in a holding pattern, sitting just waiting for something more to be done. I really like how everything is coming out so far. I've rinsed them out. They're laying on like towels and paper towels. And I love the blazer. I do think I'm gonna do the bottom of it um, in purple. It'll be really dark because it's already done in blue, but it, I think it's gonna be pretty. So I'm nervous, but we'll see. All right, we got a new pot of water and I'm getting ready to turn it on so it can get close to boiling. Right. A blue spoon. Now I have a purple spoon. We're gonna start with the dress. Stir in the pot. Stir in the pot. Now this isn't the first time I've done this purple color. This is the same color I used for my set that I did last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because I don't particularly care for purple purple, but I do love lavender. All right, so for the bodysuit, same thing. I really just want, I want even less. It's gonna be hard because it's hot. All right, let's see what we get. I don't wanna do too much. Look how dark my spoon is. Okay, let's do it. 
so after you rinse it clear you're going to take it and put it in your washing machine with some mild detergent as well as maybe some dye fixative if you really want to set those colors um, you could also use I think it's either salt or vinegar I'll put it up here which one it is and that'll help to set the color and then you just want to dry it according to the instructions now after I show you how everything turned out I will give you some special instructions on what I did that was different so uh, let's see how they turned out wasn't hard to tell that your eyes were following me it was like we were under a spell and anyone could see we had to say goodbye before we had a chance to see what we we held in What it could have been how this was gonna go um i've done bleach tie dye i really like bleach tie dye but this color is really doing it for me so i really want to share with you guys if it worked the blazer says dry clean only so i'm not supposed to be doing any of this so what i did was i put mine in a towel and wrung it out so that it was as dry as possible before putting it in the dryer on no heat um, and so I put it on the dryer on no heat until they were dry and I took them out and I ironed them. I will let you guys know if it transfers dye on me, but I don't think it will because I had it on my actual skin and I was sweating. So, <laughs> um, yeah. I was sweating pretty hard underneath there. So everything I wore today is styled with these J.Lo iridescent pumps. Like they're one color, like, like a green and a purple, depending on how you look at them. I really like these. And so let's talk about these. I'm going to show you up close because I really want you guys to be able to see how the color turned out, how you feel about it, whether you would want to try it um, and risk it. I am glad that I went ahead and did the purple because the green was all to one side so um yeah the kind of purple kind of filled it in right in the middle and then next up uh, i knew you guys were going to want to see the blazer just by itself without me doing extra stuff to it so i just threw it on with some jeans right here and you can see how i'm wearing it um yeah it just i love this like i really really like how this came out um yeah, I'm glad I went ahead and did the purple on it. it. It really sets it off. I don't know how I got this perfect little arch. Well, you guys saw I had it folded, but I have a perfect little V in the front. But the stain came out. Like as soon as I put that, put it under the hot water, that stain came out. So, so there you have it. Dry clean only stuff some stuff at least can be dyed and then the dress here's the dress um for this all i did literally was cut it off underneath the arms and double fold hem it and then i used the sleeves and the extra fabric to make some ties and the thing i like about it is that instead of bringing it in so that it fits me at the top what i decided to do was um just take the ties and put the back tie so that it was made it fit it on the side of me and then just let this back part droop so that it's a low back type of situation so yeah it really really is giving water and just this fabric this fabric feels really really good on and i feel good in it like i feel so comfortable i am so excited definitely let me know which one of these are you rocking to the premiere of the little mermaid the blazer is my favorite i have to say um and that whole outfit is completely upcycled the bustier is upcycled the jeans were too big and brought in to make those ruffle jeans um so yeah definitely let me know what you want to see me do next for the summer and 
I have other videos for you to watch right here. Tons of other videos. If you're into no sew or scissors only videos, I got you. If you are into the most amazing epic upcycles ever, I got you there too. And if you don't know how to sew and you're really interested in learning how to sew, I do have you as well. And if you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. I'm sending love and hugs through the internet and I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.